You're listening to the Hurdy Gurdy Travel Podcast. This is Justin Vakula once again teaching you how to travel the world for less with credit card rewards. Today's video and podcast is a little bit different. I'll be teaching you how to play the My Vegas family of apps. I think that this requires a video to get started and get more familiar with this. So if you're listening to just the podcast, look to my YouTube channel at Hurdy Gurdy Travel Podcast for the companion video. You might be listening to just the audio now. With the companion video, it'll be much easier to get a hang of what I'm talking about here. So first, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull up my Konami slots on Facebook. This is one of the multiple games that you can play. The basics of My Vegas are spinning slots to gain loyalty points or gold coins that you can use to redeem for real life rewards at multiple MGM properties. So you're able to play these multiple games, play slots, and place the game on auto spin in order to gain coins. At first I was quite skeptical. I didn't think it would be worth the effort especially since I would have to play a game to earn rewards, how much am I earning? But when I learned that the auto spin feature was possible, I was quite enthusiastic about this. So here we see an advertisement on the screen for buying chips. We don't need to do that. We'll just X that out. They give you a lot of advertisements to buy chips, but I find it's not necessary to buy chips in order to play the games. So here on the screen, you'll see multiple games that we can play. We see daily challenges on the bottom left and a chip collection on the bottom right in my Konami. So here we're to collect chips every two hours. We get extra chips. They're needed to spin the slot machine so we can stay in the game longer and not go broke. Here we see the rewards, the items that we can cash into. We can look into that later or another time. We're mainly focused on the gameplay and how to optimize. I don't see too much about optimal strategy online, so this is where that could come in handy. Here we see some events. When certain events are going on, you can join and get bonus chips. And the daily challenges here, we look to complete these every day to get bonus chips to stay in the game. So here I'll go to favorites. I like the game Lotus Land because it has no bonus round and we're able to just spin through. Here we see a event, win 60 million chips here at the time of recording, and we get bonus if we end up getting there. I'm at 3% now. Here we see a slider on the bottom of the screen to adjust our betting. I don't recommend betting the maximum, I recommend betting the minimum in this game so we can stay in the game longer. We'll put on auto spin and we'll see here that we're gaining progress. We see a meter on the left hand side of the screen with a gold coin and a bar. As we spin, as we put coin in, as we wager chips, the loyalty point bar increases and we gain loyalty points. Here I'm at 323,000 gaining 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 as we play i'm just putting it on the minimum bet here i have the turbo feature enabled to get more spins in so while i have this in auto spin i can go ahead and enter my vegas slots in another tab here and this will still spin even when i tab away so we'll load my vegas it's similar to my konami as you have the daily goals you have events you have different things that you can do to gain What's really nice is that the loyalty points pool across the games. You can add them together. Uh, you don't have to do anything. It just automatically does that. But the chip counts are a little bit different. So here we see another ad on the screen. I'm going to X that. I'm going to X that. And we see a collect here. Or at least we would every three hours. You can collect 50,000 free chips. That helps you stay in the game. So you want to do that. And we see an event here. Gain a certain amount of items and get bonus chips. So we want to do that once we get there, but first we'll go to my strip, click on that. As you play, you build properties on the Vegas strip and you can click on them to collect, get bonus chips to stay in the game a little bit later. I recommend doing this every time you log on. My strategy is essentially logging on in the morning, logging on at night, and throughout the day, I'll log in to collect the bonus chips. So here we'll go to games. Favorites, again, Lotus Land, I think is very good. No bonus round, we don't have to worry about that. With my Konami, some games require us to get free spins, so we'll have to change to a game that allows us to get free spins. So here I have 1.4 billion chips, so I don't intend on going broke anytime soon. So I can put the bet at 150,000 on the My Vegas desktop and put it on auto spin. See here that the gold coin, the loyalty point meter is glowing and growing. 
so we're gaining loyalty points. If we stop gaining loyalty points, we just stop playing the games. It's not worth it. Leveling up doesn't do much for us. And here we see the event meter also adding to. So we have this in auto spin. We're gaining my Konami. We have it in auto spin. We're gaining. I try to interact with the game a very low amount. As we're interacting more, playing more, watching it, it's not really going to help us at all. And we could be using our time to do other things. So I like to multitask. So these two are spinning we're gaining points and now i'm going to go to my vegas mobile i have a program called blue stacks b-l-u-e-s-t-a-c-k-s that i install on my desktop and that allows me to run mobile games that way i don't have to juggle between multiple phones and it's actually difficult to just do it on the main phone because sometimes i'll want to tab out to respond to a text message to browse to listen to youtube or a podcast so i think it's just really helpful to have everything on the same screen so here I'll load my Vegas mobile, and then after that's loaded and I show you some things about this, I can load my Vegas blackjack, but I'm going just one game at a time here. So my Vegas mobile, it has a hard cap of 2,000 loyalty points per earning period. You'll know that you're in a new earning period when you get to spin the daily wheel to gain coins. And at that point, we're going to go to the journey mode. When we complete challenges, we gain extra chips to stay in the game a little bit longer. So here the game is loading. We're going to see every two hours we can collect chips similar to my Konami. And we're only going to play when we're gaining loyalty points. So my Vegas Mobile is the game that I play the least. I just play it in the morning or at night or whenever it pops up during the day to gain the coins. And I'm multitasking while doing that. It usually takes about 10 minutes to gain the maximum. At this point in the game, I'm betting a little bit over a million and that gets me to my goal. If I bet lower than that, it takes a lot longer to gain the points. And since I'm at 987 million right now, I can afford to bet that big and speed up the process a little bit. Even at a 400,000 bet, it takes a while. So here, I'm waiting on the two hours to gain my bonus chips. We have inbox here. Friends can send us chips, but I don't really think that's worth the time. Uh, at some point, we just have so many points, so many coins, or so many chips that we don't need to bother with that. Here in Journey, we see my strip and two other options. I'm still working on my strip. There are still challenges to complete. So when I'm working on gaining loyalty points, I'll load up one of the challenges. Here we see find 170 of this symbol, 320 of that symbol. So I'll just pick one of those challenges and work toward the progress to get a bonus 200,000 chips. It won't make so much of a difference. It's a, it's a small amount, but you might as well work on the challenges. So here, since I'm finished with this, um, I can't gain loyalty points. You'll see here, once I load the challenge, my meter will have a padlock on it showing that I'm locked, so I can't do anything else. It's nice to have all these windows open to be able to run the games and gain these coins rather than having to just do one at a time. Oh, here actually there there is some coin available, so I'll put it on 1.5 million. That's pretty good for purposes of this video. As you see, I'll spin here and it will shine a little bit. It'll show the next award as I gain ships. I can hit the skip button to expedite the process. I'll just keep this going, waiting for the lock to come up and I'll load the My Vegas Blackjack game. Initially, you have to play Blackjack in around seven or level seven or eight. You can unlock slots, which I would highly recommend. That's much faster than having to actively play Blackjack. So I'll put these all in auto spin, and I will just let the loyalty points continue gaining. Here we have a bonus every two hours. We can collect chips. This one's going to come up in about 30 seconds. We can also hit the more free chips button and watch a video to gain bonus chips, but only 5,000 chips, so it's not really worth it. So at this point, I'm higher level, so I can go to slots, and I play Betrock Knights, and I can put that on auto spin as well. So we're auto spinning around the two hour mark we're collecting. We hit bet 20 per line, I have 2.8 million chips. So that's fine, I could increase my total of loyalty points here. And I'm auto spinning for 800. My Vegas, we're still waiting. We can just go into the different tab on the blue stacks program. That really helps. And over here, we have my Konami and my Vegas both on auto spin. Even in different tabs, 
you can see here that we're still gaining the loyalty points. The meter is still glowing. Once the meter stops glowing, we stop playing. So it's pretty simple. The main ideas here are just to not overplay the game, that we're just going to passively interact with it. Once we have everything spinning, we're good to go. We'll just do the daily chip collection once that comes up, and we'll do the every two hour chip collection, except on the desktop game, we have to wait three hours. So here we're almost at the two hour mark on blackjack. So we'll turn off auto spin by clicking where it says that. And we'll go back to the lobby or the home screen and we collect our bonus. So here in blackjack, we get a bonus of 1000 chips. Again, not too much of a, a major thing, but why not just take the few seconds and collect the chips, particularly when logging in, we can get that bonus. So here we'll just go ahead and put that on auto. We see that all of the other ones are spinning. There's an event in the My Vegas mobile, so we can load that event and get some bonus chips. But here, I think it's better to just stick to the challenges. Sometimes with the events, if you play too much, you can end up going broke, and we don't want that. Of course, we don't want to go broke. So let's see, we'll turn that off of auto spin on my Konami, and we'll go to the rewards tab. We can look at that. I live pretty close to Borgata, and I think that's where we're getting the best bang for our buck. Vegas has some decent rewards too in food and rooms, but at the moment I can book rooms at a very low rate, so I think it's best to use the loyalty points on other rewards. So here we can browse through the properties, Aria, Vidara, Bellagio, Park MGM, Mandalay Bay, and many others will show on the screen. You can get these rewards in multiple apps. Scrolling through, it'll show us the Vegas locations first. And as we scroll through more, we'll see some that are outside of Vegas. There's MGM National Harbor in DC. Some of the locations don't have very good rewards, but Vegas and Borgata, I think we're getting the most bang for our buck. Just scrolling through here. So Borgata, it appears, is not showing in my Konami. So we'll try to find it in one of the other apps. We'll take it off auto spin. And we'll go to rewards here once it lets us. So it'll load the rewards. We're going to find them and see if we can find Borgata here. Classically, I've been seeing $25 match play at Borgata, $10 free play, $25 dining credit, free room, comedy club tickets. There it is, Borgata. So we have $10 slot dollars for only 5,000 coins, 25 match play for 5,000 coins. We have comedy club tickets. Two for one sandwich for 7,500. Complimentary beverage. I don't really think that's worth it. You can just sit and play your free play and get a free beverage. And the free room is 75,000 for a Monday through Thursday stay. The $25 fine dining is really good because it doesn't have to be used at a fine dining location. It can just be added to your comp balance. So if you have Borgata Gold status, as I've talked about in previous episodes, you can get two buffets for $25, $12.50 in comps. So that's a pretty good deal here. So for 300,000, I have more than enough to get the rewards. And at Borgata, none of the rewards are considered premium rewards. You can only get three premium rewards or awards per account at one time every 30 days, but the non-premium rewards, you can get as many as you'd like, as far as I know. In Vegas, most of the better rewards are premium rewards, but at Borgata, none of them are premium rewards. So once they become available, you can buy, you can add it to your wallet, and you have until the end of the reward period to redeem, which in this case is the end of December in 2019 at the time of recording. Then after that period, a new batch of rewards comes out. It stayed the same from the last period for me for Borgata, so I was able to double dip. Unfortunately, you can only get one reward per earning period, at least at Borgata. So here I'm collecting the chip bonus. I'm getting VIP points as well. You get a status with these games. The status increases over time and you get some multipliers and some bonuses. Not really important. It's just something that happens anyway, not something that you should really go for. Here we see some of the other casinos as well. It's showing uh, close to my location, it seems. So you can filter and look. I've also heard that if you're trying to redeem for Vegas, you cannot be in Vegas. It won't let you buy it once you're there. Not not very good. So Blackjack continues to spin. We're at the Mobile Vegas game. We're waiting on the loyalty point cap, the 2,000. 
and we'll just go ahead and make sure to adjust the bets before you hit the auto spin or else you can be spinning at a very high amount and go broke pretty quickly. So here we see that it's still earning. We can go back to Konami as well, back to Lotus Land. We'll see if there's an event, but again, don't go broke playing the events. This one is just a total gain of chips. So over time, you're still going to get there. So if you bet lower, you can stay in the game longer. And over time, just have less variance, I think. Rather than betting 3 million at a time, you could bet 24,000 and you'll still get to that goal and you'll still gain your loyalty points. It's not so much of a rush unless your trip is coming really, really soon and you really want to get there. But the idea is to plan ahead and just keep playing. So this game, I, I don't spend much time on it. For purposes of the video, I'm just showing you different features here. Multitasking is definitely the way to go with this. Here, I'll set the bet at 1.5 million and everything is spinning. So we have the four games spinning. I can walk away, make breakfast, make lunch. I could even leave the house and just keep the computer on if I want to and just let it spin. Although on the go, I'd want to collect the chips rather than just having the computer on all day and just hogging electricity and the screen going, right? So it's uh, it's your call. But I, I don't think you really need to go to that extreme to gain the points, just maybe having it on for an hour in the morning, an hour at night just a few minutes each time to set it up and let it rip, I think is the way to go. So if you have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave them below in the comments on YouTube. And if you're on SoundCloud, other platforms, you can also leave comments there. Feel free as always to get in touch. You can use my email address, justinvacula at gmail.com or hurdygurdytravelpodcast at gmail.com. Visit my website at hurdygurdytravelpodcast.com where you can see past episodes, fill out my credit card questionnaire. You can visit my donate and referral links for credit cards that you might be interested in signing up for. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for more content and have a great day.